Right. This is... I'm going to be really dark here, uh, but um, this is an off-the-cuff uh, 2018 What the Hell Happened for Me. Um, I did have great plans for sitting down and, and, and going through everything in great detail on, on how I got on in 2018 and what I enjoyed the most and I'm not just talking vape gear but people, events uh, and everything that, that, that I did relating to vaping. Uh, but then as usual, as is always with me, I got caught up in other stuff and go <laughs> Just, I'm just ending up doing this instead. So I apologise that this is really dark and uh, that this camera is just in a place where it really shouldn't be. But, uh, bugger it, Let, let's just get on with it. And I, I'll get this out of the way now because the, the one thing that freaks me out the most about doing these best of, end of year things is missing people out. Um, I am very, very lucky very very lucky in that I get to I, I get to show you lots of toys and a lot of these toys are sent on by companies who want to sell their gear and, and it's all about selling the gear and getting the stuff out there and that's why they send it to reviewers uh, yes that does apply to a lot of a lot of stuff that I show you but also a lot of the gear that I show you is uh, from people that I've got to know really really well and they have sent me gear on and and I just want to say thank you to any company or any individual or any mod maker or anybody that has sent anything on. Uh, thank you for for letting me show your gear off. Uh, that That's the main thing. And and to those of you that um, I know really well and, and you've sent me gear on and you didn't go batshit crazy when I pointed out negatives or you didn't stop speaking to me and unfriend me which happens sometimes, uh, thank you uh, as well. Um, th there are far, far too many people to name and uh, so I shall just move on from that one. Uh, I'm also going to say thank you to everybody that has sent on <laughs> stuff like this. <laughs> stuff like this, jokey stuff, uh, cups, glasses, presents for TJ, books, uh, just the, the list goes on of the amount of jokey stuff that I've received over the year to each and every one of you uh, most of you <laughs> thank you some of the stuff that has been sent on has been questionable to say the least also I just want to say and, and I'll mention this once I honestly I'll mention this once is that uh, the charity stuff that you all do uh, everybody that's donated, uh, thank you once again for everything you you raised this year. It was a tremendous amount of money and can't thank you enough. Uh, that really just cannot thank you enough. Uh, on my other list of stuff is, I'm going to say events. Now I got to go to, <gasps> got to, go to a few places this year. Uh, I didn't go to it. The only UK event I did was Vape Fest, if I remember right. I didn't do any other UK events, which was rather strange. Uh, but I did enjoy Vape Fest. I enjoy meeting up with everybody as always. And I really touch wood, touch wood here. I really do hope that um, Vape Fest 2019 is a thing and that and, and it all pans out. I really do, because it would be such a shame if it didn't. Um, also, I think there's Vape Jam. I've got two events next year. Uh, the same goes for Vape Expo in the UK. They've got two events and there's other events going on. Um, I don't know if I'll be going to all of them, but I definitely, definitely will go to Vape Fest. I will go to Vape Fest. Paris was brilliant. It was in a, a, a new location, which I wasn't a huge fan of the location. I missed being outside Paris. Uh, it was in a more an industrial area. Uh, I, I kind of preferred it the year before being inside Paris and getting to see things. Uh, but I still enjoyed the event. Uh, I enjoyed the event a lot actually. Uh, also with the VAP Expo guys I got to go to Vegas which killed me. 
absolutely killed me. They just that took more out of me than anything I've ever done, uh, journey-wise, and, and not feeling well after it. I, and it was such an eye opener going to America for the very, very first time and seeing things that just baffled me, absolutely baffled me. But the main thing about I really enjoyed about going to Vegas was not Vegas, uh, was the people. There was people were so nice, so nice uh, in Vegas. It was, I was quite taken back by that. That was my standout thing from, from going to the States, was how nice people were. Um, also, I just want to say thank you to Patrick, as always, for uh, taking me to these events, and it, it greatly appreciated. Uh, where else did I go? I've got, well, it has to be said, Stuttgart. Uh, I, I got to go to Stuttgart and... I do love that I have this thing, I don't know what it is, um, I have this thing about Germany. I really, really like Germany. Um, not just vape offence, but a country, the people, and, and I, they just, hello the cucumbers. Um, I, they're just always, just something seems to click with me. Not just with the vape gear, but the people and, and yeah. So, um, Stuttgart was for me, um, I got Ira as always, God bless you man, uh, spoiled me rotten and the Modders Gallery in Stuttgart was mind blowing. It was the, it was mind blowing and it's something I truly, I mean I really enjoyed and I can't wait for next year because it's going to be even bigger. Uh, I've seen the plans and the list of the modders that are going and it just looks amazing. Um, so save your pennies up, come to Stuttgart, have a good time and hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll be there as well. Um, so that was it for the events. Did I miss any events? I'm, go I'm going through my, my passes here and I, I don't think I have. I didn't go to Poland this year um, and I'm kind of gutted that I never went to the castle, uh, you know, uh, the castle event because I'm an idiot and because I'm um, Anxiety sucks, um, and you know, we'll say no more on that one. But um, I want to get back to Poland next year because I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it the year before that. So, so that's that's that. So that's that's the travels. That's me saying thank you to everybody, and and one last person to say thank you to. Obviously, before we get into the nitty gritty stuff and everything you want to see, is my missus. Um, I, Karen, I, you know, I couldn't be doing this, I, I mean, I wouldn't be, you know, the stuff she puts up with so that I can do these reviews, the amount of home time, uh, hour time that it eats into is insane and she just is a diamond. So that's that's the main thank you. And always TG, because TG, let's face it, the dog, is the star. Nobody would watch my videos if it wasn't for TG, so <laughs> thank you. But that's enough of the thank yous, that's enough and and, and yeah, I, 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 hum, I so apologise. I wish I could rhyme through names and thank yous and for, for everything that I get from doing this, uh, but I can't because I'll forget people and, and I will feel terrible about it. So let's go on to mods and atties. Ah, uh, right. Now, we're all squint here, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, mods and atties. Now, the thing about 2018 for me uh, was that <laughs> I, I walk a fine line here with upsetting people. Most of the reviews I do are for gear that is harder to get. It's not, most of it isn't your run of the mill gear. You know, so you have to join lists, Facebook groups, and things like that. And not everybody likes that. The thing about 2018 was that the gear that is easily accessible um, vapes just as well as the stuff that's hard to get a hold of. It's a fact. It's a fact. And anybody that tells you any different is, is trying to sell you something or pull the wool over your eyes. Uh, D-Pro Mini 
the little C roll uh, RDAs, things like that, the intake RTA, still got them here. And oh no, sorry, I haven't got the D Pro Mini anymore. Um, but the intake RTA, love them. And they vape just as well as my Laddie Da gear. And, and that, that for me was the big thing about 2018, was just how good affordable gear was. 2017 was when it started getting better. 2018 was just off the chart for me and I'm I'm happy about that because it yeah it's just kills a lot of arguments for me and there's a lot of drama and bullshit that goes on and people make out that they're better than other people because they have more expensive gear that doesn't apply anymore it really doesn't the, you cannot apply that argument in the the e-cig industry anymore you can spend 50 pound on a modernati and it will vape just as well as a thousand pound Modinati. It's that simple. But I guess I better show you what I have. Now, what I'm about to show you is what I've kept. I'm actually gonna show you all my Modinatis, but you will see what I have kept from this year for my own personal use. Everything I'm showing you here is what I've kept for my own personal use and these get used. They're not shelf queens or anything like that. They do get used and um, and I'll just do a quick run through through them and it's not going to be a best of but I'll let you know what my personal favourite is and that's not taking into account anything other than my own personal tastes. Here we go. Now I hope this works, I'm using this handheld here, I'm not on a tripod or anything. Uh, this is my vape stand. Uh, this is made by Custom Wood in Poland uh, by Jacek. Uh, the same guy that makes this, which is the, the Monarchy. Uh, Monarchy vapes, the Monarch RDA. But um, So this is everything I have. If something comes in and I like it that much, it fills a hole here which means that something has to go. I, I don't tend not to keep anything more than, I mean, this might be excessive to a lot of people, I get that, but you have to remember how much vape gear I actually get sent on. So this is what I keep. So you've got here, right, we have the, the Vena. We've got the Vena uh, from Haku Engineering. I can't remember the name of this top cap. Uh, this was sent on to, the, the, the top cap was sent on to me by Dominic, thank you Dom. Uh, but the Vena, I, I like this a lot more than the original Haku. This suits me to a T. I love the airflow on it. Uh, this one is the, the Monarch, uh, Monarchy Vapes, uh, which I am getting on with more and more every time I try a different build in it. Uh, it's quite strange how much it's growing on me, this. This, this and this. These are all <laughs> Skyfalls. And um, I'll come back to that then in a bit. Uh, we then have this is what's this? This is a Narda with an aftermarket cap. This is a Narca with an aftermarket cap. This is the one. This is the one S R D A. So the one and the one S. Uh, this is by Cope Designs. Michael. Uh, Michael did this one. This is the R D A. It's the Das Das Ting. Das Ting. And this is Das Tank Thing. I think that's right. I could be wrong. Huge fan of his work. Uh, anyway, moving on. Next, we have uh, this is the, the R2. Uh, the R2 by Conceal Mods, um, which, which I've dropped. Uh, which I, I'm quite a fan of this now. Quite a fan. Uh, this is a Nuppin. A Nuppin. This is an old school one that I've kept. I really like the Nuppin. Uh, this is another old school type one. This is the Papillon uh, by Gus Mods. Really like that. Uh, these, this, 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 and this. These are all Hussar. Hussar vapes. Uh, the X, the No Idea, the RDA, the RDTA, no, yeah, mm, forgotten the name, and the Legacy. Uh, they've done well this year. They've come a long way in terms of machining. Uh, I get a great vape, suits my vape style to a T, but yeah, very good. Uh, the Convergent. 
going to talk about that a bit more. Uh, there's this the C roll, uh, which is um, a budget one. Huge fan of it. Love it to bits. Uh, we've then got the Citadel, the Day One, um, the Typhoon BTD, and last but not least up here we've got another Narda that I use for dripping, not squonking. Everything else is set up for squonking here, um, pretty much, apart from the Narda. Sorry my camera keeps cutting. Oh, there we go, it's back. Uh, this is a Trillium. I was given this by Keith. Keith, thank you very much to play with. I'm playing with the Trillium. It's a sub ohm tank. Cloud One Blasted RTA. And this, I really like this. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, Sky Drops RTAs. Sky Fall RTA. No, Skyline RTA. So, e smoke Guru. Um, the Intake RTA. Squape, Squape, the new Squape, and German Steel Vapor. Probably saying that wrong. So that that like I say, that's everything that I've kept. And once again, I know it seems excessive, uh, but you have to remember that um, I get a lot of gear sent to me for review, and I, and yes, that that's what I've chosen to keep out of everything. Uh, I mean, I've I've done over the six and a half years now. Uh, it'll be seven years in March, April next year uh, that I've been doing this. So that's what I've kept out of near 1,600 reviews. Um, for me, whilst I stand out, now they're my favourites, everything you've seen there, but standouts for me, uh, RDA wise, I'm going to say the C roll for a budget RDA. Really, really like that. Uh, my other RDAs are, I'm going to say the Convergent, I think the Convergent has some of the best airflow in any RDA and I love the flavour from it. I, I really do love the Convergent a lot, but I am going to say that my favourite RDA for the year is the Skyfall. I know that doesn't come as any great surprise to anybody uh, that watches my videos, um, because the eSmoke Guru guys, um, they took me out to Athens. I got to see these things getting made, the prototypes. The, I saw the work that's gone into making them. And and Vasily and Rula and, and the guys that are in the shop, um, Pedro and Alex, that just... Yeah. They spoiled me rotten, but it's not because they took me over there that I'm ranking it as my favourite. It's because of... It's still... a. I'm just going to swear, it's still an excellent RDA. It really is. It's an excellent RDA and the machine, I mean, if you like, if you appreciate machining on anything, um, then it's the standout. It does stand out from the pack. Uh, it really does stand out from the pack. And that's why the Skyfall is my favourite. Not because they bought me coffee. Um... So there we go, right, right, RTAs, um, I'm going to say that, quite simple for me, as much, I love the Cloud One, the intake is, if you're on a budget, I'd say the intake is as good as anything out there, pretty much, uh, but um, I will say that for me, the, and I think I did this last year as well, he's going to be a happy boy. Not that it makes any difference what I say, but uh, it, 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 yeah, it, it does kind of The Scrape, the new Scrape, the Enduro. Uh, done a good job in that. They've done a really good job in that, and, and that, and, and it's just out, and it's a keeper, and I like what they've done. They've addressed all the faults that there existed before. And I think that's what companies should be doing, uh, rather than just ignoring people complaining about things or people bringing issues up. They listened, they, they addressed these things and they made a better RTA for it. So yeah, Statquam, Scrape, Enduro, it's my favourite RTA from this year. Chris, send more chocolate. Now the next one is, uh, is that a lens flare that's there? It's not a bit of dirt. Honestly, I. I 
I apologize for the color balance, the balance, color balance and the lighting here. Uh, these things are normally very, very important to me. Anyway, mods. This was squonky year. And what things went crazy for squonking this year, uh, but actually I'm going to stop before I go any further. Um, I want to say it was a sad year in some respects because there was a lot of small mod making companies shut down, shut their doors, uh, and a lot of them were the good guys. There was a lot of good guys shut their doors this year, and and. Yeah, it's just a sign of how the market's changing, things are changing, but um, yeah, just I'm not going to go and naming them. And but yes, the, there's a lot of people that will be missed um, when it comes to you know the smaller mod making houses and things like that. Now I'm going to show you mods here that I've I've had for years. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick flyby. There are a lot of them, and once again, <laughs> I know it might seem excessive, uh, but. Um, yeah, it's just it's what it's my this is my hobby as well as what I do. So I do collect these and um and once again over the years it's uh, I've built up, you know, we're talking nearly 7 years here. I've built up a, a nice little collection. A nice little collection. I will say that most of this gear you're about to see here is stuff that um I know the people that make these mods. A lot of them I call, I would refer to as friends, uh, and that's why I keep them. Um, but um, yeah, I'll show you them off first. Now, actually, before we get on to all this stuff up here, the mods, uh, there's one thing that. Now, I don't review e liquids. I don't, in my videos, I don't, you know, pimp out e liquids and things like that, but I will do this year. I'm not pimping them out, but I'll mention them. Uh, for me, at this, the end of this year, the, the, the three liquids that have stuck with me, the ones that I have enjoyed the most out of everything, yeah, and th there's quite a few that have been sent on that were really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'll not mention names, because if I start mentioning names, then I'll forget names, and then it'll all just go wrong, as usual. Uh, but for me, for this one, I just want to say uh, to Simon Sawyer's, Eclipse, uh, Strawberry Fields, beautiful, beautiful e-liquid, like that a lot, uh, I'm really enjoying it, and uh, yes, it's, it's a, we'll keep going, uh, so you've got uh, Strawberry Fields Eclipse, um, also to the, the grumpiest man in Fife, Mr. Mark White, uh, for Lemon Crack. Uh, now he does a couple of other juices as well which I enjoy but Lemon Crack was a bit of a revelation this year for me um, it's tremendous it's a re really nice e-liquid and, and Mark's a diamond as well don't tell him I said that he's a miserable shite anyway and um, and one that's been possibly vaped the most this year Nata Portuguese custard tarts uh, I, I, from Hayes Town. Uh, Toby sends me this, and this is my favourite e liquid for the year is Nata. Um, but once again, there, there's many others that I could name and go on about, but but these are the three that I've enjoyed the most. And I will say, I will say this. This is just a shameless plug. Uh, where's my light gone? I did. I did have a light there. Um, I think all three of these are available from justadnick.co.uk. Uh, the wonderful John Martin, I think you can get all three of these from his website, so go and check them out. And uh, I will also say congratulations to John and Shelley for taking on Just Add Nick. They now own it themselves, and, and I wish you all the best for 2019, buddy. Okay, let's try and do this as quickly as possible. So we have possibly one of my favourite regulated mods this year that I never even reviewed, which was the Typhoon Box Mod. Love this! Bought this second hand. This is my mods, Joel Seaton. Uh, I got this second hand, bought this from Dominic, and uh, this used to belong to Mr. Elliot Markski, and this is just stunning. Go and check out my mods. His, um, his new regulated mod is stunning. This, I've still to review, Alchemy. This, the, the Buzzy Squonker, or is it EVM? 
still to review this. Just, 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 just. Right, uh, this, uh, these are some of my beater mods. So, Aegis Mini, the Aegis Mini. Absolutely love this. This is great for out and about. The Luxotic Squonker, the Big Bassium. Um, Dean did a great job with this this year, he really did. And the drone, uh, the new drone. So I use these as beater mods. Uh, but moving along, right, everything you see here, not here, these are all my mods from Darwin Mods in the UK. Uh, I have everything that Eddie's ever done. Big, big fan of Darwin Mods. I love Eddie to bits. He's a very creative guy. I've also, I bought this during this year as well. Sorry. Um, this, this is the Beagle. Uh, that takes four 18650s. Um, and, and huge fan. Massive fan of Eddie. Um, now, we then move on to, okay, here we go. Elemental Mods. This is a Hydrogen. I bought this second hand. Um, love Anthony's work. I got this re redone. It got all spruced up. And I also have from Anthony, I have some of his squonkers here as well. I have one, two, three. So I've got another three Elemental Mod squonkers here. Going back here. Um, where are we? We're here. Uh, vape Droid. So miss the vape droid. Uh, these guys shut their doors. Uh, this is the Ultim one. I love this to bits. One of my favourite mods. And I'm so sad to see them shut their doors. This is the Mini Atom. Years old this thing. This got made for me. Uh, this is the Chang mod. Years old. That's a DNA 20 or 30 I think it is. This was a present from the wonderful people. Uh, that um, Oh my god. Miriam. I've forgotten the name. <gasps> MMV, Metal Madness Vapors. There we go. Uh, this is, uh, oh, we have a light now. Uh, this is the, Olymp not the, I keep calling it the Olympus. Uh, what is it? I've forgotten the name, the Optimus 18. Uh, that's by Amber Mods, Sebastian. Billet Box, MK Mods. Long story. Uh, this is one of the, the cheap, um, Starplat, oh, what was this again? The Stratum, uh, but the one of the cheaper ones. This was a present from oh, the sexy man, uh, Rick Grove at Mod Maker. This is a regulated mod, and uh, this was oh my god, I've forgotten the name, but I've got another one here. Where is it? Where is it? It's up here somewhere. There we go. So I want to see if I can get these together. This is from uh, Pima Vic set, so that's a squonker and a regulated. Um, love Pima, great bloke. Uh, GB mods, this is a little uh, regulated single 18650. I bought this two years tracking that down, and I also have a squonker version of it. Um, This, I bought, bought this second hand as well. This is from Anatolian Mods. Uh, this is a Jewel 18650 MOSFET. Had this for years as well. I kept this little thing. Forgotten the name of it now. Forgotten the name. My head, my, my, it's late at night. My head is just wasted. There we go, got that. I did a review for it, not so, the Taji. Taji Mod? Taji Mod was it? This one is, oh, this is a special, this is the 3D printed, uh, this is just K-Mods, uh, the Nostromo. Um, yeah, I'm a huge Alien fan, I love my sci-fi. I mean, there, you see that Ike Akira on my monitor. Uh, we've got an Alien Queen down there, Judge Dredd, and yeah, I love my sci-fi. Uh, we've done these three here. Cranium Mods, uh, this was a gift from, uh, a lovely man. Uh, I really like this. Nice little mod this. Uh, Keith Morgan, <laughs> my favourite Scottish Welshman. Uh, he made this for me. A 2700. He 3D printed this himself. Uh, Morgantium. He's got his own YouTube channel. Keith, if you ever see this, love to the family. I hope you all have a great Christmas, pal. Uh, this was a present. Um, Bill, if you see this, yeah, I, I've polished this up even more, my friend, and, and this is just, 
I love this. This is a classic. This really is a classic, this one. Um, speaking of classics, how's that for an old time squonker? That's an old Rio Woodville. Uh, that really is going back some. Um, 3D printed, we have the, the Quark BVB mods. Is it BVB? Barn Vape Box, that's it. This, uh, I'll talk about this more in a minute. Uh, and I also have the wonderful Todd. Todd, down under. Uh, this is another BVB. Um, this was a gift from a very, very nice man. Uh, I'm trying to keep going. Uh, Dingo Vapes, I've just reviewed these. MK Mods. Um, this is from uh, Custard Mods. This is a tiny little 3D printed. They put my uh, little logo on there as well. Um, this and this. Uh, these are both halves by Ostrux Creations. The one in the right is a one-off. That was a present from Benji. And the one in the left was a present from uh, Vasily at uh, Eastmont Guru. And I and and so they they were gifts, and and I and I kept them. Um, this is very very special to me. Uh, this is the Hellfire Cobra. Now I raffled off my own Hellfire Cobra uh, for charity, and the guys at Hellfire heard that I'd done this, so they sent me on a brand new one as a present, and and that meant so much to me. It really really did. Um, so. I'll come back to that as well. Uh, Aiden Tippy Mods, such a nice guy, such a nice guy. He shut his doors this year, which was a great shame because he made a beautiful, he does beautiful work. Uh, this is GB Mods. I showed you another GB earlier on. Limelight Ram, um, so that's the Ram edition. Uh, Northern Dreampipe Mods. So this is the Arc. This is the new one that came out this year. This is. I'll come back to this one. I'll come back to this one. Um, that's last year. That actually won my favourite wooden squonker last year. That one. Um, we then have uh, this and this. These are from the wonderfully sexy Mike Dacus um, Abstract Mods. And, and I, I really do treasure these because Mike is such a, such a nice guy. Um, a lot of time for Mike. These are from 67 mods, Raphael, um, Rave Mini, Neo Fet and Neo 60. This one is, I'm pleased to say that the Armadillo mods, the Regadillo, uh, Ash is back, he's now back doing these again. If you get a chance, check out Regadillo, Armadillo mods. Uh, this is a stupendous little mod, this little DNA 75C. And we're almost there. Um, done that. Oh, this was a present from um, <gasps> Matt. Matt at Fine Mods. Uh, he did this for me. This is a big old beefy unit, this, but it's got a star plat in there. And I'm a big fan of the star plat. And this is just a nice natural wooden mod. Um, we then have, uh, this was another, I think this was Neil. Neil, was this, Neil sent this on to me. This is an old Lucas Medi Medieval. This this ah, this is old school, but this is just it was a gift, and it will be treasured as such. So, and last one that I've kept because this was also a gift from somebody that I like a lot was Keith. Uh, Keith used to make these mods, big massive squonk bottle in it, and this was uh, he updated this one to a DNA sixty for me, I think, if I remember right. So Keith did that. Uh, what have I missed? <gasps> right. Um, hang on till I move my chair. Okay. So we also have the Pulsar. Uh, this, this is my Pulsar uh, stab wood body, standard body, and the 3D printed body. Uh, Templario mod with the Elmo on top. Uh, Anatolian mods. Hit it LEBD. Templario. Mechanic from Squape, Nemesis, GGTS, Trinity by Nar Mods, Gla eh, Phantom, Glass Mods, oh crap, is that the right one? Um, oh, I'm running out of steam here. MK Mods, um, this one was has been my favourite mech mod oh, for such 
f for so many years now. It really has. This is this has just been Kuro Concepts. Uh, I, I just love. It's one of the best ones I've ever ha owned. Uh, and I also got some 18350 and 18500 tubes for that this year. Simon McDermott was a huge help in that, you sexy man. Uh, and this one I kept this as well. This is from uh, Fakirs. That's the Illusia. Uh, which I held on to. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else lying about in the shed that I need to show you that I haven't mentioned? Uh, walking around, walking around, walking around. Oh, oh here we go. No, no. There's the, um, the shield. The shield mods by BB Vikings. And also we have my little Caravella that always sits here and always has a battery in it and I vape away with it. And that, that is... I think that, oh no, sorry, there's more. Um, I have the um, Little Squonker from CNC Mods. Keep this, this, this is a, a <laughs> this is cute as a button, this wee thing. Um, I was also given this in Paris, uh, which I will show off that, and I will show off this before the end of the year. And that, oh no, there's more, there's more. Uh, sorry, um, where have we go? We've got my big pipe. There's my big pipe here. Uh, a big Gulliver. Sorry, this light keeps cutting in and out. And this, which was returned to me, it was given away. Sorry about the lighting. It was returned to me. I gave this away many years ago, and it was returned to me by a very nice gentleman. And I really do appreciate you sending it back. I know, I know. How many mods does one guy need? And and I do, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and justify what I have here uh, because I put in the work and um, and a lot of these, well actually about, I would say about 80% of what I've got here were actually presents from people uh, which were hugely appreciated and because they were presents uh, they get kept. Things that are sent on for actual review, I don't actually keep a lot of them. Um, but uh, yes, so that's why I have so many mods. Once again, that's over almost seven years uh, of collecting. So there we go. What ones from this year stuck with me or struck a chord with me? I'm going to, and, and I hate to do this, I'm going to rule out uh, ones that were gifts. I'm just going to roll them out. Um, it's just I've got to be hard that way. Then. So, but but these are the ones that I love the most. Um, so, first one, uh, mod wise, I'm going to start off with the Hellfire Cobra. Uh, this, for me, MOSFET Squonker. I absolutely adore this. I think it's so well made. Uh, I went out and bought mine. I bought mine second hand and uh, and then they gifted it to me which was hugely appreciated. Uh, but um, this is one of my favourite squonkers this year. It's just done very, very well. It's not cheap but I actually think it's well worth the money. It's well worth the money. It's tiny though. Look at it. It's so tiny. Um, regulated squonker. Uh, I'm going to go for, and this might catch a few folk out, I'm going to say the little Regadillo from Armadillo Mods. Uh, I absolutely adore this wee thing. It is tiny, it's a DNA 75C and I think they did a really really nice job in this and and the doors are made very very well. <laughs> still in one piece. Oh there's not a, it's now covered in dog hair and e-liquid but it's still in one piece. <gasps> I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Um, so we'll put that back on there. <gasps> Close one. Um, next one is going to be my favourite wooden mod. Favourite wood mod. And this is two years on the trot. Well done Mel. <laughs> I did gush over Mel's... Oh, was it the G1? The end, I've forgotten the name. I've forgotten what you've called it, the last one. I've forgotten what you called it. Um, but this year, the the Ark from Northern Dream Pipe Mob, this is my favourite wooden one uh, because, because it's done so bloody well. 
Um, this this is um, I'm just going to end up seeing the same as I did last year about his previous model, but for this one, this is if you want something that is hand shaped, handmade, uh, and 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 finished to the best possible standards, highest standards, then that is what I would say to anybody to go and buy. Uh, at the Ark Northern Dream Paint Mods. And it's gorgeous. Uh, my favourite squonker uh, out of all of them, uh, and this is not, wasn't released this year, it was released a year before, but I got it this year to review. The Pulsar. The Pulsar is possibly, it is my hands down, my, probably my favourite squonker. Uh, because you can buy different bodies for it, different battery tubes, different colours. It's, it's just, the options are endless with it. And it's the one, and it's so small. Um, 21700 battery tube here, uh, 10 mil of juice, and they've done such a good, good job with it. I know there were some issues with the earlier batches, but this year the Pulsar has been my most used squonker. And and so 10 out of 10 to, to Mod Dog for that one. I really do like it. Um, the next one is possibly going. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> oh no! My favourite regulated mod is, <laughs> is the billet box. I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe I'm saying this. The billet box with the MF bridge using the Vaporesso EUC coils for me is just awesome. It's the laziest vape I've had this year. The, there's no hassle with it. It's The coils last for a long, long time. The battery life on the DNA 60 is great. And also with uh, my, this is a sleeve by Heart, Heart Leathercraft. Uh, you'll find them on Facebook. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I have two uh, billet boxes now. I used to have such a love-hate relationship with billet boxes but this year in the past couple of months I love using this mod I really really do uh, and so that is it for mods billet box <laughs> I can't believe that um, right that's it that is it um, I, I, will, I will end this off by saying I am the luckiest SOB under the sun, getting to do what I do, which is my hobby, and get the toys I would love to go and buy sent to me free to review. I know how lucky I am. I, I get that 100% and I will never ever take it for granted. Um, and to anybody that sends stuff on, it is appreciated. And, to you guys, to the people that watch the reviews, those that have stuck with me since the beginning, those of you that are just finding out that I do reviews now, and and I know I'm not your stereotypical reviewer. Um, I don't do drama. I don't get involved in all the bullshit. Um, there are still a handful of us left that don't go down that route. Um, and I know it's not very appealing to the mainstream these days, uh, but uh, yeah. There's a handful of folk watch my videos, mostly just my mum and dad. But uh, yes, yeah, to to you, to anybody that watches these videos or listens to me waffling on, puts on with my colour balance and my bad lighting, thank you so so much. Very very lucky guy. Um, I, I will also say thank you to the people in my Facebook group. Uh, you are all idiots, every single one of you. <laughs> because you give me so much abuse and I love you dearly for it. Uh, thank you to uh, Trevor, Todd, Gillian and Mick who moderate my Facebook group who do such an awesome job and put up with so much. Uh, to Chris Addy, you are my sole inspiration and uh, I'm going to stop saying thank you to people because they just I'll be thanking God next and all that crap uh, and I'll start crying. But no, 
If I missed you out, if I did not say thank you to you directly, if, if I've forgotten you or whatever, I humbly apologise. It's the one thing I hate about doing these videos for 2019. It's going to bring whatever it brings. There'll be more vape drama. There'll be more bullshit. There'll be lots of crap going on. But please don't forget, there's lots of good happens in the vape world as well. A hell of a lot of good. If you get embroiled in all the shit, then that's all you're ever going to see. If you go looking for the good, you'll have a great time. There is a massive community out there of people that just want to have a nice time and help other people. So stick around like-minded people would be my advice. I'm going to go now. Have a good Christmas and an excellent 2019. I'll see you in 2019. I better stop now. Bye for now.